Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to read.com. This is the MBNF or logical machine number three, the Sidewander, otherwise known as the HM3. Um, this is the last major release from MBNF. The newest one is HM4, but this is still an amazing timepiece and one of the most um, original um, and I think iconic designs. This really put them on a map from a design standpoint that showed that they were able to create some very fascinating stuff. This watch being the Sidewinder um, has an orientation where the strap is connected to these ends. There's a different version called the Star Cruiser where the strap is connected here and here. So it just depends how you want to wear it. So you wear the watch um, like this on your wrist and then you tell the time via these two sort of um, I'll call them towers. So this tower here is for the hours. This tower here is for the minutes. And what you do is you look here at this little red indicator and it moves across the hours. Um, so the whole thing turns around once each 24 hours. And you can see here, you can see on the top, day and night indicator. So there's this red um, indicator here. There's actually two of them. So you only see one on the dial at any given time. You go over here for the minutes, same type of uh, linear type of scale here for the minutes. Honestly, it's not that hard to read once you get the hang of it. It's not so bad, and this orientation makes it so that when you sort of tip your wrist to the side there, you can see them. There's a date indicator on this disc over here, and there's a small arrow right here. So you're just pointing at the 19th. Today's the 19th. Otherwise, um, it's the beauty of the, of the movement. So it's an automatic, you can see that battle axe style rotor in solid 18 karat gold which is moving around there and I believe it's on ceramic ball bearings because it moves really smoothly and it's just great seeing that movement. It's just spinning all the time. It's, it's fantastic. MBNF designs beautiful movements and this is no exception. The sapphire crystal over this section of the movement is incredibly clear. There's a wonderful amount of anti-reflective coating. It looks like you can just stick your finger through there and touch the movement. Finishing is fantastic. It's really beautiful. You can see two more gears on the back here which just look amazing. The case is about it's 47 by 50. The top half of it, this version, is in 18 karat white gold and the bottom is in titanium. There's also a version um, where the top is in uh, gold that matches the rotor, so it's in rose gold. The strap is, um, I think it's alligator, uh, maybe crocodile. I always get those two mixed up. I don't know why. Um, there's this sort of uh, tension type of clasp here. It has sort of a little, uh, sp it's kind of like spring loaded, I guess you could say. And it works really well. It makes it easy. There's a lot of luxury makers that, that have that type of style strap. So there it is on the wrist. It's not too crazy. Um, it's actually pretty manageable and dare I say comfortable. Um, it's a crazy design which is not fit for everyone, of course. If you can pull something like this off, you know it. You just look at it and you're like, yeah, I can pull that off. Um, I like it. I think it's interesting. And like I said, I was actually able to read it not, not too difficultly. Of course, I would have liked for it to have some luminant, but that's not really what this type of watch is all about. Overall, again, like I said, the finishing on the case is beautiful. It's an amazing timepiece. The brand has done an excellent job of showcasing their designer watches. And by designer, I don't mean fashion. I mean their wonderful and beautiful designs that are artistic, celebrating um, the machine. These watches are really about celebrating the machine. And if you can really understand where they're coming from, it's a very rewarding type of watch to have. But you'll also need to have the budget. This watch in white gold, I believe, runs about 77 um, thousand dollars, maybe eighty thousand dollars in that range. So it's quite a pricey thing. Also a limited edition. Um, you can read more details on a blog to read.com. Again, this is the MBNF HM3 Sidewinder. Thanks.